It happened here, just a few kilometers up the hill from the town of Revelstoke, along what's called CP Rail's Mountain Subdivision. Now, it was late one night. It was in February on the eve of a strike by CP Rail's engineers and conductors. The two-person crew of the train, 401, was nearing the end of their shift. The cargo, according to sources, included flammable fuels and other dangerous goods. It had to be parked and secured with handbrakes. Rail traffic control radioed the crew, instructing them to split the train and to move a series of tanker cars onto a siding. But they'd have to leave 57 cars unattended on the main track on a heavy grade above Revelstoke. Well, according to a Transport Canada search warrant in this case, the crew members were concerned. They were supposed to apply handbrakes to at least some of those 57 cars that were on the track. And that's because of emergency directives stemming from Lac Megantic. But according to the conductor, they were overruled by a senior manager and directed not to apply handbrakes, despite the fact some of those rail tank cars were carrying dangerous goods. And so, according to the search warrant, the crew followed the direct orders, leaving those 57 cars on the main track, on a grade above Revelstoke, with only secondary air brakes to prevent that train from rolling downhill. I just heard about this 45 seconds ago, but it's unacceptable in this day and age that any amount of risk is being taken that uh, could cause uh, injury, death, or property damage. Fortunately, the train in Revelstoke did not move. CP Rail won't discuss this case other than to say it is cooperating with the investigation. Transport Canada has not laid any charges. And these allegations in the search warrant, they have not been tested in court. But inspectors are investigating the company and its senior manager under the Railway Safety Act. And these offenses, if there was a potential conviction, carry penalties of up to a million dollars and even a year in prison. Dave Seglin, CBC News. Revelstoke, B.C.